Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Curse of Oak Island, Hints Knights Templar worked with Vikings. The most recent episode of The Curse of Oak Island saw a discovery that might connect two historical groups. The team has always believed the Vikings made their way to the island. They also feel that the Knights Templar hid treasure on the island. A brand new discovery makes them think that the Vikings and Knights Templar might have worked together on Oak Island. Here is what the team found and why they connected it to both the Knights Templar and Vikings. There are three stone monuments on Oak Island, and the team there thinks they point the way to the hidden treasure on the island. However, they have a new theory about these monuments. The team always believed the Knights Templar built the monuments to lead them to the treasure. But what if the Vikings of that era were also involved? The Legina brothers sought out archaeo astronomer professor Adriano Gaspani. They asked him to continue his studies on Nolan's Cross. They gave him two more stone monuments to examine. Those two monuments were the Stone Triangle on the Southern Beach and the Stone Cairns on Lot 15. Gaspani explained they were positioned to align with the sun, moon, and stars. He also said they were built in 1250 AD. His studies on Nolan's Cross also indicated it was built in 1200 AD. This wasn't a guess, as Gaspani said he was 100% sure of the dates. Then he dropped the bombshell. He said the ability to create these monuments could only come from an expert in geometry, astronomy, and navigation. In 1200 AD and 1250 AD, it could only be very few people. Professor Adriano Gaspani told the Curse of Oak Island crew that only religious, knightly, or monastic orders could have created something like this in the 13th century. He then pointed out that the Knights Templar was the most powerful. Since the team already connected the Knights to Oak Island, the puzzle seemed to come together quickly. Gary Drayton found a new artifact on the island, and Emma Culligan studied it. It looked similar to an artifact previously found on Lot 13. While Gary was looking for something to connect to Knights Templar, he instead found a Viking artifact. The only people who were known to travel to America before Christopher Columbus was the Vikings. If the Vikings arrived on Oak Island in the 13th century, and the Knights Templar were there building the monuments and possibly burying treasure, they likely connected. This means that the two powerful groups could have collaborated on Oak Island in the 13th century. What are your thoughts on the Vikings and Knights Templar possibly working together on Oak Island in the past? Do you enjoy when the curse of Oak Island delves into history like this? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.